we're gonna make a pinch pot today. This is a great lesson to do with kindergarten or people that are just starting out with working with clay. First, I'm gonna roll the ball in between my hands or on the surface of my board. I'm using a canvas board that I would paint on so that my clay does not stick to my table. And I also have a little dish of water, fork, pencil, and I love this tool, a bamboo skewer. It's great for working with anything that you want to make. All right, after I have rolled it into a nice round ball, I am going to get my thumb wet in the little bit of water. I'm going to stick my thumb into the middle of the clay and pull it out. I'm going to get my thumb wet again, stick it back in the same hole and push my thumb in a little bit farther so I can feel it pressing on the end of the clay, but I don't want it to poke out all the way. Next, I'm gonna practice pinching with my whole hand. I don't wanna pinch with just these two fingers. I need to have my fingers moving together like this. I'm gonna put my thumb all the way to the back of the hole and pinch with all four fingers, so I'm squeezing the clay, and I'm gonna squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn. That's why it's called a pinch pot, because I'm pinching the walls to make them thinner. I'm gonna go around this a couple of times just until I feel the walls get a little bit thinner and the opening of the clay pot is going to get larger. Then I'm gonna take my finger, get it wet in the water, or you can also have slip. Slip would be a little bit of clay mixed with the water. That is also fine. And I'm going to just rub any spots that are dry on my pinch pot. I can also look around the rest of the pot and see if it was dry anywhere else. It looks pretty good. So now I am ready to decorate. So I'm gonna use some of these tools over here for decorating. I'm gonna start off with the bamboo skewer and use the end of it to punch some little holes in the lip of the pot. Pots have body parts just like people. They have a lip, which is around here. They have a body, and then if it comes out a little bit at the bottom, that's called the foot. And if it comes in a little bit at the top, that's the neck of the pot which of course this doesn't have because it's a simple little pinch pot. I can also use the pointy end to draw things in the pot. Maybe I wanna have a heart at the bottom. Maybe I want to have some stripes along the side, or I could create a pattern. I could also use my pencil, maybe the end of my eraser, to press in the clay. Or I could use a fork. I could press things going this direction, or I could make them going up and down with these thinner, very little dots. Also encourage students that if they mess up and they don't like what they've done, they can get a little finger of water and erase it. That's the beauty of clay is it's very malleable um, and they love doing that. At the end of working with your pinch pot, don't forget to write your name on the bottom of the pot. 